Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm ready with that. Yeah, I, I thought you want me speaking to this. Should I go back? <laughs> Tom, you were telling me uh, before this fight that you'd be ready for the spotlight a lot more this time. I mean, a lot of people are lumping uh, big prospect status on your head at the last women's show. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably going to happen again now. What do you think? I'm not really fussed about it now, you know. I, I had fun out there tonight, you know. I was very nervous before, you know, having a, a long time out. But once I got out there, everything just felt so natural, you know. My training took over. Um, as long as I continue to train hard, I'll get to where I want to be. So no, no ring rust at all? Was there anything that felt different for you after having such a long layoff? Nah, there was, there, like, I would have thought there would have been a bit of ring rust, but when I got in there, you know, I've been spying with some sharp guys, you know, and also my training partners like Leon and stuff. I'm, 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 spying, I'm spying top guys, so, you know, they're getting me ready for, for these kind of fights. And I feel at middleweight, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not the heaviest guy, I'm not the biggest guy, but I'm a good athlete and I'm more athletic than these guys. Um, I felt comfortable to be honest, and, you know, I got a lot of respect for Dan Kelly. While you know, I was just the younger, sharper, more athletic athlete. You know. This is how you make a living fighting. So for not being able to do that for a couple of years, how did you actually support yourself financially? Well, I have my team, my team, Rene uh, team Renegade. Um, you know, and I make a I make a good living from that. I don't need to fight. Uh, I fight because I love to. Um, and you know, I, I enjoy what I do at Renegade. You know, uh, training and helping out guys that have fights and, and being a coach there as well. So. Yeah. With the benefit of hindsight, was a little bit. I know it was a lot of time off, perhaps more than you wanted. But has that time off done you some good? Do you do you feel different at all? Yeah, well, it def I, I was definitely very hungry in training, but I've always I've always been very professional when I trained. You know, um, so the time off it was tough in the build up, but once I got in there, my training took over. So yeah, you know, next next time now that I've just you know I got in there, my confidence is up again. I feel a lot better. If, you know, you're in the leader. How do you feel in middleweight? Good. You know, I'm not. I didn't really. I wasn't that heavy when I got in there tonight. Um, I was similar to how, what I was at welterweight, but I had so much energy. You know, even just when I was in there, I just felt oh, like I weren't even like I didn't even get a sweat on. I feel I feel fit at this weight. You know, I feel I feel strong. Can you tell us uh, what exactly was your weight inside the cage today? Uh, I went away before. I was like 188. Yeah, usually I'm a bit heavier, but you know, just getting close to the fight, my body's just like, oh, welterweight, getting getting down for welterweight, I think. But uh, yeah, I eat clean and, and it just come down naturally. Did you talk with Gunnar Nelson and all about that because he famously doesn't cut any weight? And yeah. It, you know, do you think this is the way forward now? Also, the champion in the middleweight division, Robert Whittaker, does the same thing. The best weight is the best weight you can perform at. What what what's your best athletic performance? Not getting in there being bigger and being all sluggish. It's what, what your body's going to perform at best, and for me, it's at this way. Try more elbows. Yeah, I just felt fresh, you know. I, like, I mean, it was a short fight, but even like in in the dressing room and stuff, I just I didn't feel like I could get tired. So considering that, you know, like you said, it was a short fight and didn't really take any damage by the looks of things, and you had been away for a while. How soon you want to get in again and again yeah. and against who? Uh, you know, I'm just this is my this is my <laughs> instigating fights. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's my this is my first fight at middleweight. You know. I know Dan Kelly's an older guy, but he was top 15 not long ago, and you know he's one of those guys. He, 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 if you let him get into the fight, he, he can do well. So uh, for me, that this was a big win, and um, I just want to, you know, keep keep trying to progress, and I just want to get myself better. And to do that, I have to fight the best fighters in the world, and they're in the UFC. So get me out there and get me fighting whenever I'm ready to go. How often would you like to fight this year? If I can get two more in this year, that'd be good. Anyone? I don't. I can't even think it right now. I'm, who's in the division, really? You know, Wh whoever. Let's go. Yeah. Tom, you're Tom. Uh, hands-on uh, renegade as well. Obviously, doing a lot down there. Um, you know, at what point do you flip that and focus on yourself? How's it? How's it working out? Trying to sort of juggle the two roles. Well, my, in in the classes that I coach, I train myself. You know, we have loads of good athletes, and also if I need any cover for classes. Um, there's top athletes there and you know like uh, Leon being there now as well you know he's helping uh, with, with coaching and helping helping push me in the lead, lead up to fight so yeah it's brilliant 50 G's for Breeze oh that'd be brilliant yeah that'd be great <laughs> 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 uh, how did it feel for you to uh, come back in the afternoon in your home country uh, the 
was it an advantage, advantage or rather disadvantage for you? Uh, I didn't think too much about it. Um, yeah, uh, the, the advantage is I don't, I don't have to do like a long flight. You know, whereas Daniel Kelly, he, I think he flew from Australia to SBG, was away from home for a long time and then came to, uh, and then come to England. So it's a lot of time away from home. So I don't think he would have rested the same as, as I have, just trained at home. And dro I drove up to Liverpool on a Tuesday. What are you planning for tonight? Sir? I'm going to drive home once, uh, once I get out of here. <laughs> In my little banger. <laughs>